Hi, my name is Katie Fleming. I'm an explainer at the Exploratorium and I've worked here for about three years. We do cow eye dissections and we get our eyes from local meat distributors. And I've probably conducted a cow eye dissection four times a week for the last three years. So that's a lot of eyes. Now the reason that we do cow eye dissections is that they're very similar to human eyes. But there's one major difference. A cow's eye is a lot bigger than a human's eye. And now what you've all been waiting for, the cow eye. This pink and white part that I'm holding is fat and muscle. I'm going to tell you a little bit about muscles. The cow eye has primarily four muscles that allow the eye to move up, down, left, and right. The human eye has two more muscles that allow, that allow the eye to move more freely, like this. That's why if you look at cows, they move their heads like this. But humans, their heads stay still and their eyes do the moving. This pink and white part is the fat and the muscle. What the fat does is it cushions the eye because the fat and the muscle wrap around the bone right here holding the eye in place. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. Right here is the cornea. Now this is the protective layer of the eye. Light bends when it hits the cornea. So I'm going to make my first incision in the cornea. What's going to come out is the aqueous humor. So what the aqueous humor does is it brings nutrients to the eye. And as you can see, my eye looks rather deflated. So it also helps give the eye its shape by giving the eye some pressure. Just to give you an idea of how many protective layers the cornea actually has, I'm going to cut the cornea off by making an incision on the sclera, which is the white part on the side of your eye, the side of the eye that I've cut right there. I'm going to cut around it so I can get the cornea laying on top. Now, if you listen carefully, you can hear me cutting the layers of the cornea. Next, I'm going to remove the iris from the eye, which is the part of the eye that gives your eye its color. It also contains the pupil, which is that black dot in your eye and the pupil is actually the hole in the iris. You've probably noticed that your pupil gets bigger and smaller. That's because your iris is a muscle that allows light to come into your eye. If there's a lot of light around, your iris is going to close up so a little bit of light gets in your eye. But if there's only a little bit of light around, your iris will open up so light can get into your eye. A major difference between a cow's eye and a human's eye is that the iris is oval and a human's eye is round. Now I'm going to remove the lens so we can get a closer look. This jelly-like substance is the vitreous humor and it surrounds the lens. The vitreous humor is clear so light can pass through it and, a mix and it's a mixture of protein and water. This is the lens. It's soft on the outside and hard on the inside. It's kind of like an onion. It grows layers every year. The lens job is to help focus the light in your eye. If I hold it up, 
You can see me. Hey, check this out. The lens acts like a magnifier. Now we're going to look at the retina. So I'm just going to remove the vitreous humor, put it in this tray. The retina lays flat in the back of the eye. And it's all connected at one point. So you see that thing hanging right there? That's the retina. And the retina detects light, has cone cells which allow us to see color, and rod cells which detect whether or not there is light. Notice how the retina hangs from one spot. That's considered your blind spot. The retina contains light-sensitive cells, which are all connected to become the optic nerve. Light can't stimulate that one point on your eye, so it's your blind spot. Normally, the retina lies flat on the back of the eye because the vitreous humor pushes it against the eye. If the retina gets folded or wrinkled, it'll distort the images that your brain is interpreting. Your retina actually becomes the optic nerve. This right here is the optic nerve. So I'm going to go ahead and squeeze it so we can take a closer look. That white goop is the myelin surrounding the optic fibers. Your brain receives information from the cells in your retina and turns that information into a picture of the world. If you look at the back of a cow's eye, it almost looks like a shell. That's because cows have a tapetum. I'm going to flip it out so we can get a better look. If you ever see cats at night, their eyes appear to glow. That's because light comes into the eye and bounces off the back of the tapetum. Humans don't have this. The back of our eye is black to absorb light. And this is the end of our cow eye dissection. But if you want to see a live one, come to the Exploratorium.